Hello everybody, welcome back to more Nova Drift. How do we want to do this here? Do we want to increase uh, the enemy starting wave? I feel like last time we did that it was alright. I mean, I'm going to say probably no to the danger zone. I mean, especially like, are they supposed to be on par? They are on par, that's interesting. I, I think that enemy territory is uh, seemingly quite a bit easier to handle than the other one there. Whoop. Slipped right through. Yep. He's fast. All right. Well, anywho, here we go. Back at it again at the Nova Drift. Oh, land. What the heck is this enemy? I feel like I hadn't seen that one prior. I know we had our upgrade already, but some there's some weird part of me that wants to make sure we get uh, a couple at the same time. Uh, but alas, we did get the thing. Since there was more stuff added to our pool, they made it so we have the option of picking between five things instead of three, which honestly is a huge jump up. We could pretty much take whatever the heck we want, I think. Uh, and then what is that? Honestly, let's go a split shot. Ooh. All right, yeah, I like it, I like it. Oh, we get, oh my God, we get uh, five choices in this too. I feel like that's almost everything. <laughs> Almost everything that we get to pick between. Uh, shield slows enemies within the radius. Shield to boost thrust and weapon damage while active. Thrust and total weapon damage. Damage is further boosted. Sure. Let's do it. We're going for damage here. Going for damage. Uh, I mean, we can't really hit with all three of our bullets here. It's Unless they're really, really right up in our melee range where they're going to be taking a frankly ridiculous amount of damage anyways. I kind of wouldn't mind getting a slight spread decrease. Hmm. Blazing thrusters burn targets for a thousand damage. Thrusters ignite targets for. Wait, blazing thrusters burn for a thousand. Thrusters ignite for 120. Modifiers to thrust also affect thruster size. Resistance to self and crash damage. Maybe. Maybe something like that. Defensive shield capabilities, uh, okay, it also increases the shield power, so we get a slight reduction to our rate of fire, but if it's increasing our shield power as well, that should also be increasing our damage. 25, what were we doing? Were we doing 27? So how much do we do in close range? 35? 35 when they're in my radius. Hello, friendo. Get out of there. Circle. Circle the sucker. And I thought you would be dead. That's why I risked it. Okay. What do we want to go for today? Projectile velocity. Projectile size, damage, and blast radius. It seems like a really good place to start. Okay. So we do 30 damage from afar. What do we do up close? 30, 34? How much does it increase our damage? 15%? Really? Well, I guess it's doing that much from uh, from afar there. I suppose that's because they're not in, my, uh, not in my radius, is my educated guess. Adds a projectile and reduces spread. Let's do that. All right. All right, I'm into that. I'm into that. I like that quite a bit. I'm going to do uh, something real quick here. Oh, I guess I have to... Uh, up the volume out of the game here just up it a little bit there more projectiles makes them weaker and slower let's get a little bit of a little bit of homing a little bit of homing if that could make it so each I really wanted to get the cargo ship it was worth risking everything our damage is feeling suboptimal Primary projectiles are split into weaker ones, maybe. Grants five levels, but you lose all your rerolls, can never get any more. I mean, I, I really kind of liked that one last time, if I'm going to be honest. Let's go rapid fire. Go rapid fire. If we're not going to be doing quite as much damage as I'd like, then let's at least do it faster. That counts, you know. That's good DPS. Got our level up here. I'm going to finish up these... Stinkers. All right, what do we got? What do we got? 
Velocity down, rate of fire down greatly improves. Uh, apparently, this gives us burn damage just straight up. Uh, okay. Plus 20% rate of fire, but plus 0 0.04 flat rate of fire delay between bursts. Hmm. You take ramping hull self damage when you fire. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Increased rate of fire, one burst fire. I don't know what that means. Let's find out. Ah, okay, okay. So it's kind of like... Delays our shot a little bit. Kind of like that other thing that we just had. Uh... What do we want? What do we want? Guidance? Maybe. Let's do it. Let's do it. So it should be quite homing now. Oop. Oh, that was a bad, bad double hit there. Getting a little bit of a uh, little bit of thrusters might be a good idea. Our damage is not too shabby, but it's also not too uh, not too amazing. I do like that we're doing that eight damage splash. That does I think that's quite nice, quite helpful. It adds up over time. Ooh. This is turning this is turning pretty cool. Is it good? That's the question. I don't know. But it is definitely really fun and it's definitely something we have not quite done yet. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I I don't know what the vict like when is so I know that we're on endless, but when is the game cuz it said that there is like a it continues after the final fight. So I imagine, you know, one of them is the final fight. Hmm. Hmm. So one of them is the final fight. What is it? Is it the, uh... Is it fight number 100? Maybe? Wave 100? Alright, those extra projectiles are working pretty well. It seems like they're doing, uh... They're doing their own little... Piercing splash thing afterward as well. That does seemingly, like, what, 4 damage? Pretty good. Pretty good, all things considered. We're generally the same color ugh, as these guys, which is a little bit on the visually confusing side. We could probably like, sneak in and get a couple free shots here before everything happens. Oh, I knew that was going to go wrong. It's okay. If we, if we stay okay for a little bit here, then we're in a really, really good spot. Boy, we were flying super close to the sun there. Hey, just get risky with it. What the hell's that? What happened there? Is that just the lasting effect of that guy exploding? All right, let's uh, let's get that there. So we got two level ups, I believe. Additional projectiles, lower rate of fire, homing projectile, plus eighty percent spread. I don't really want extra spread, but it's super homing. It's fine. Let's try it. Let's try it. Ooh. Okay, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool looking. Is it very strong? Um, remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. I think I would like to get a little bit of spread reduction, I think. But the, visually, so cool. And it seems decently strong. Strong enough. Strong enough. How many bullets are in each, like, little row there? It seems like maybe three or so. This is rough. Okay. I've got to take this time. Uh, charge shot, maybe. Velocity, maybe. Uh, let's do a reroll here. Homing strike projectiles have a great leap. Improved projectile targeting and don't degenerate as quickly. Homing strike projectiles, uh, bonus spread. Do we have throw uh, the whole? No, we don't have. Yeah, no, we did not go for the self damage reduction one. I'm gonna say nah. Blast radius maybe. Boop, 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 boop. 
Sure. So apparently we should we should get a little bit of blast damage now as well when we didn't have it before, I th think. Could be wrong there. You know what? Okay, we have to take this to get reduction to the spread in the future here. We have to take a take a penalty to get a buff. That's okay. We'll get there. Also, it's really really good for these scenarios where we're, you know, not trying to focus fire that hard anyways. Whoa, my god. How are you alive? Did you see all them numbers? Oh my mess. Oh my man. All right. Oh, it's chaos in the best way. Wonderful, wonderful chaos. Okay. Good spread reduction, but boy, we are still... Uh, it is still pretty darn spread. I'm running through. Okay. Careful with the shield for a little bit here. We should probably go for something a little bit defensive, lest we uh, have the scenario we kind of always seem to run into, which is... A big ol' whoops. Late game. Oh boy. V visually, I, I will not be able to really tell what's happening here. I hope that you are dead. Yes, you got wrecked to me. <laughs> okay. Greatly increases regeneration rate at the cost of reserving some of your max holland shields. I really would like to know what that's about. Hmm. Doubles, doubles. Base projectiles. Fine. 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 We're just going to create a wave of death. I appreciate that a lot of times when you get extra projectiles, it also reduces the size. Because, you know, it just, it, it really is a, it's a nice way to make it so that the uh, screen real estate, ooh, we got to be careful, it does not get too taken up, you know? Okay, good, we got our shield back, but our hull is not quite repaired. Yeah, like, our single target damage shock awe is pretty garbage. Pretty garbage, which I think will certainly start to bite us in the butt at some point very soon here. Hell, maybe even literally right now against this guy who often gives me issues. Okay, what do we need? Spread, weapon damage, projectile size, blast radius, lower rate of fire. Hmm. Huh. Fine. Okay. Here it comes. Go in a circle around here. Oh boy. It's chaos. It's chaos. Be good about that. We're hitting those, but it don't do nothing. So then what happens now? Yeah, the, uh, the singularity. We don't insta-die, I'm well aware, but... If you get hit afterwards, you take big damage, and I don't want to take big damage. Or if you get hit afterwards, then you insta-die. That's what it is. That's more what it is. Oh my god, I thought that sound was me getting a, a level up, so I've been mashing the level up button. Yeah, we do not do well against this guy. I mean, we never do well against this guy. But, like, the setup we have is, like, extra not good here. Like, I need to get really up close and personal to him, but it's... Often seeming like a very dumb idea, you know? This is, like, our best time to actually fire against him. Where am I? Okay, good. That could have gone, could have gone better, could have gone worse, could have gone better, could have, could have gone worse, could have gone better, could have, could have gone worse. I mean, this is a really good time to attack him if we could like reliably find a way to get in there. 
But weirdly enough, I think, yeah, I think the Singularity is our, our best time to go for him. I don't really want to go th through the screen right now. All right. We'll get through this. This is not our strength. Not our strength whatsoever. Who the hell are you? Okay. After this. After this goes in. I see we got to level up. After that goes in, we go in for the kill. No, we go for the singularity. Then we get it. There we go. Holy crap, man. That was... That was yikes. That was not good. How do we... How do we fix this? <laughs> Can we fix this? 20% burn damage. Is it 20% of your weapon as burn damage? A flat weapon damage bonus. At the cost of us constantly being on fire. I... I don't know, man. Fine. We'll take the rate of fire downgrade, I guess. Just to get a little bit of extra damage here. How much are we doing? We're still doing roughly the same, but obviously, like, there's way more... Way more bullets that we are firing that do that much damage. So it's, you know, it's a win. It's a win for damage, but I think we could be doing more. I think we could be doing better. Like, I, th I think we took, we went a little bit too hard on the, uh, on the multi-bullet dream. Because imagine if we had, like, a little bit less bullets, but they were all hitting the enemy, you know? That'd be disgusting. Disgusting. Bonus spread. Wait, you can you get you can get fusillade again? Should we just lean into how dumb this is already? Should we just like lean into it at this point? Can we get fusillade again? Is that how this has been working? Like for both of those you pick up, you could get uh, you could pick up that. Oh my god, we got some frame bops for the first time ever. Gee, could it be because of the uh, large amount of bullets we have on our screen? Could it be that? That and the number... Yeah, it's because of all of the numbers that are popping up. We may need to... Uh, we may need to disable numbers on screen for this build. Oh, yeah. I think we got... I think we have to. I think we have to. Uh, for, na for now. Okay... Shield cooldown. I mean, I think going for something like a shield could be a really good idea as well, but. Oop. Sneak right past. Singularity detected. Alright. Oop. Bye bye, boys. You're going to the singularity. Yes, yes. Aim your sniper shots, my friends. Yes. Yep. Oop. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't have to aim very well. That's kind of fun. And we actually do seem to be kind of shredding. We do seem to be shredding. Greatly improve the blast radius. Charge up your weapon to leech on more powerful attack. Rate of fire, effects charge rates, weapons and charge. Let's get them. Because we can just tap shoot it still. Good morning! Yeah, we can do business as usual. I, I don't think we get a penalty to our... Uh, maybe we our fire rate goes down just like a little bit or something. I saw issues there. Wave 80. Hello, my friend. That's how much I did? Uh-oh. That's no good. That's no good. If that's really his health bar up top, we are in a world of hurt. We've taken way too many damage penalties. 
See, this is why a lot of these upgrades can be a trap, you know? Eh, just I'll fly over here. Yep. Like, oh my god. Boss fights are not our strong suit. Wave clear is, like, super easy, though. Like, look at that. B breaking those guys, it's nothing. Should we take the burn? Does it actually, like... Maybe. Banish all currently offered to you. Grant seven rerolls minus seven percent size. We'll get the burn damage. We'll see what happens. I have an I have a sneaking suspicion the amount of burn damage that we do is not gonna be very high. Well we just blast him, but I think that's just because his uh his parts went away. I think it's because we got his uh, his big big sections all broken. Is this just permanent now? Nope. Whoop. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Frequently in Problem Town. Frequent resident of Problem Town. Where am I? I'm, I mean, I know where I am, but like... Oh, God. Alright, we've... No, we've not done it! Okay. The extra little ads were, were causing the, uh, the biggest issues there. Ooh. That makes sense. That makes sense! That build sucked! Oh, my God! That build was awful! One extra reroll per game. Cool. Um. <laughs> Too many bullet. Apparently that was one of our higher scoring runs though. Alright. We'll just rock another. Another basic one. Alright. Lesson learned uh, again. <laughs> we, we learned the same lesson again. Too many bullets is very much a real thing. Um, grenade, pulse, powerful short range electromagnetic blast. Uh, creates a powerful like blast. Centered on you, hits two radial waves. Okay, so this, we have had this before, but I think we can have some fun with that. I think we can have some fun with it. I think we can make it good. Uh, amp, maybe? Yeah. I think amp makes sense for this. If we could get the, uh, like, the crash hull. I could see that being really good. Okay. I mean, I guess we could re-roll. Hull breaker. Crash damage to targets is boosted by high speeds. When crashing head-on, you penetrate destroyed targets. Sounds good. One moment. I, uh, I'll be right back. Sounds like, it sounds like something might be, like, burning. Okay, hopefully I edited that out. Oh boy, uh, nothing that I could find was on fire here today. Uh, yeah, seems good. Seems good? Question mark. <laughs> I took. Where were we? We have okay. Yeah, we got our uh, our hull breaker build. Where I don't know. Okay, I think we're gonna want to lean into actually protecting it though. I feel like it's not gonna make a lot of sense to just crash damage to targets is boosted by high speeds. While crashing head-on, you penetrate destroyed targets. Crash damage resistance. Bonus recovery rate. Max shields are down. Rate of fire down. Okay. That being said, I really think we should increase our hull. Okay, so how much damage did we take? Well, first of all, let's just... Whoa, boy, we are fast. We are a fast son of a gun. I mean, it's a risky business, hull breaking. That's why they don't call it friend, friend breaking. Oh! Oh, that felt great. 
If we could get the butt fire now, I think that would be good. Banishes all current mods. Larger, tougher, and slower. Bonus bonus max haul, crash damage. We do lose thrust, but we can get that. Crash knockback, which is crash damage to knockback to targets. We're doing it. Yes, we lost some so uh, speed, but I think we can just... We can try and get that back. We can try and just get that back. Increased damage, max hull. At the cost of always thrusting. Good. Not only that, but it does actually give us bonus... Um, bonus thrust power. I do remember. Oh, it seems super dangerous, this run. We're going to need, like... I don't know. We're going to need to make sure we don't just constantly crash through people. But at the same time, how could I not, right? Yo! Oh! Okay. Goodbye. Here I come! Yeah. One of these days, you are going to get it! Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> In increase your max shield sounds like a really good idea. Increase your shield effect power by your current speed. Maybe. Maybe. Sure. We're going to need to get extra shields to make that uh, a reality. That was risky stuff. I died. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, I didn't even make it on the list. That makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. I do want to try that again. But let's turn on Danger Zone if we're going to be doing it again. I want to try that again. I want to. I bet you we can kind of like force it to an extent with the amount of rerolls we have and the amount of options we get. Weapon that expends hull to charge. I mean, eh. I guess I'll. We could have re rolled that, couldn't we? It's okay. I mean, we could just pierce through enemies with this instead. I feel like that's that's fine. We can't turn as well while it's out. I feel like the other one is the logical, the logical choice there. Shockwave, reflect. I feel like reflect might be better because it it's it's a higher amount of shields as well. I think. What? Okay, well we don't have the we don't have the hull breaker yet. We don't have it yet. I think that I can see it working. Like I can see the uh, the benefits of it, but boy, like that's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. But there we go. Okay, I think that we maybe took a, a pretty bad shield for it. Due to the fact that, you know, like... Oh. It's pretty it's pretty rough going that we... Uh, here, we might as well just bump into you until you die. That we lost so much of the shield to start with. It's it's pretty rough. It's rough start. We, we're not, like, invincible during this, no. Okay, so. How do we rectify this? I think that that's a fine one to go for. Because we're always pretty much going to be thrusting anyways. Uh, Self-damage resistance at the cost of increased damage taken from enemies. Targets take more global damage the more damage you are. This bonus damage is, I mean... Is crash damage self-damage? Is I, I guess kind of the one of the bigger questions I have relating to that. Whoop! Yep, that's a problem. All right, maybe the uh, the max, the always thrusting, the always on thrusting is a uh, a bad call for us at the moment. Well, we don't really know what we're doing. Trying to just see if we can get our shields back mostly at the moment. 
There we go. All right, we, now we can uh, pierce through some enemies a little bit safer. Oh, boy. Safer may not be the, uh, the operative word here. Sword feels kind of wrong. I, I think that we should switch to the other one if we can get it as an option. Uh, provides damage plating. Protection against rapid light damage. Cannot reduce burn damage or self damage. Well, I don't know if it is self damage. That being said, any kind of uh, damage reduction is going to be a good call right now. Boop. Wait, so does that, did that three... Oh, God. Did that three... Was that saying how much we reduced? Or how much self-damage we took? Okay. Sketchy. Sketchy. I'm sure this can work. I'm sure it can. Yeah. There we go. That's going to be... I think that's going to be important. Ah! Ah! ah. Okay, yeah, that uh, that improved rate right there is really good. Oh, God. Sword. Sword makes little sense for this. Uh, honestly, I am almost tempted to even just switch this salvo. Improves your thrust. Scorching wake. Maybe. Regenerative shields. Passive. Passive. Passive shield regeneration. Regenerate portion. Magic shields. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea. Uh, shield cooldown, maybe. Large, tougher, and slower? Sure. I, I do want to try that again. All right. Thrusters deal... Hmm. Okay, actually, let's get skirmish. And then, uh... Okay, well, we're not going to... We're not going to kill mines that way. No siree. How, how does the next fire of our sword get upgraded? I mean, like, obviously I'm really thinking of uh, going for a different weapon right now. Blade, maybe. Terminate. Causes enemies below a certain percentage of their maximum hull damage to be destroyed by weapon or crash damage. What is this now? When you damage an enemy, store 1% of your damage as essence. Essence causes your hull to recover over time. You recover hull from an essence rate at 10% of your maximum hull. Out of hull, cannot exceed 5% of your maximum hull. Wait, what? Oh, we'll find out. This, this is either going to probably be, like, amazing or terrible. Like, I think it's... If I'm understanding it correctly... I'm not. Okay, so we're slowly getting it back because we need to be killing things. We're basically a, we're a vampire right now. Gotcha. I'm a vampire. Maximum shields, shield effect radius. I'd say max shields is probably going to be a good way to go there. Okay. Uh, There's the pulse. I think that's going to be better for us. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh, it's like, it doesn't even matter if we're... Weird. Weird! I like it. I should have... Yes, I should be doing my blast at the same time, of course. Like, as long as we're running into him, it seems like we're generally okay. Oh, that's so weird. To, I. Oh my god, it's so weird! But our hold does not regenerate normally. Oh my god. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Enemies at full health to take more damage from weapon hits and crash damage. 20% total. Extra. And we get weapon damage up in addition. Okay. Anything that increases our max hull sounds really good to me. If we could get that next. Okay, um, hold on. <laughs> increases your shield effect power by... Okay. 
your current speed. Mm. Stabilization, rotation speed, resistance to mobility, reducing effects from your weaponry. Ooh, you get a you get a dodge roll. Well, eh. Kind of toasted us before. Your shield cooldown sounds really nice. Shield breaks it discharges discharges violently. Sounds quite nice as well. Uh, this is not looking good. Yeah, I don't know how to do this build. I don't know. I genuinely. I know it's possible. I don't know how to do it safely. Like, I mean, well, that's kind of probably a uh, not realistic thing to do. But we, I think we learned a lot today. Uh, <laughs> uh, how to say. Bad? Uh, let's see. Hull, it was the hull breaker. I wanted to say, uh, hull breaker, or I can't say charging. Crash. <laughs> uh, we'll call it our crash course. I feel like that's the probably the best way of doing it. It's our crash course in the, in the crash builds. But that is going to do it for today. Uh, another set of not very successful builds, but it's important to have these runs also. Uh, it's important to have these ones also so we learn what is, what works, what doesn't work, what, what goes well together, what doesn't. So, you know, if we're in weird niche scenarios in the future where we kind of have some of that stuff and we're like, I mean, what do we want? What do we need? What do we need? Uh, like, just even picking up that thing where it gets rid of our hull recovery rate, uh, just to learn what it does now, like, so we know what it is in the future, that's important. Uh, we learned, of course... Getting too many projectiles tanks your damage. You can't really kill bosses. Like, if you sp spread yourself, like, quite literally, quite literally spreading yourself too thin. I I think is what we did in the first run. The middle run was obviously just, like, we're trying to learn. I, I'm sure it's possible, but I guess you kind of, like, you probably just have to use it sparingly, I guess. Until may maybe later you can go full on into it, but... Uh, that's going to do it for now. Thank you everybody for watching. Greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And hey, check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.